I think we are in a full-fledged war. There is no doubt about that. Uh, and, uh, you know, irrespective of what you want to call it, uh, you know, we have uh, uh, civilians, uh, innocent people, women, children being uh, indiscriminately attacked, targeted. Uh, we have, uh, you know, um, residential buildings being blown to smithereens. Uh, we have, uh, you know, hospitals, ambulances, uh, primary health care centers being targeted. Uh, this is war. There is no doubt about that. Some of the people we've spoken to say that they are worried about seeing what is happening and has happened in Gaza repeat itself here in Lebanon. Is that something you're concerned about? Well, it's the same perpetrator and uh, it's using the same excuses, uh, using the same weaponry. Uh, of course, we are very much concerned. It's, we are concerned for our community. We are concerned. You know, we do not want to see the carnage that is, that happened in Gaza, uh, I mean, happen in Lebanon, nor did we want to see it in Gaza. And that's why I think it's imperative on the international community uh, to take action and to apply the required pressure on Israel to seize uh, with it is uh, indiscriminate attacks on civilians. And the, uh, the paper that was put forth by the U.S., by the G7, by the uh, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, uh, UAE, and which Lebanon accepted, uh, would have been a very good place to start. But unfortunately, it seems that, uh, you know, everyone uh, is intent on finding a diplomatic solution to this conflict, except one party that wants to continue with its indiscriminate attack on civilians. So do you believe Hezbollah would agree to that proposal? Hezbollah has uh, stated publicly that uh, with a ceasefire in Gaza, all hostilities uh, or all activities uh, will, will cease. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think that even if Hezbollah, let's say Hezbollah was not honest in this, let's remove its excuse, let's remove this pretext and find out for, you know, wh what its true, true position is. But I think that the, uh, you know, the international communities call for a ceasefire uh, and uh, is the right place to start. Lebanon does not want war. This is what the Lebanese government has said. This is what the Lebanese population has said. And I believe that a diplomatic solution is the right way out of this conflict.